once I got here and once I was able to actually, you know, interact with them, they welcomed me my very first day here. So, you know, it was, it was really big for me to feel like, um, you know, that I was welcomed somewhere new and that it yeah. felt like a family already. So, yeah. Right, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. No problem. Hi, this is Wayne with Turp Talk and CBS Sports Radio 1300, along with my sidekick, Mason. Here. How are you doing? Good. Uh, well, welcome to the Big Ten. Thanks for coming. Thanks for being a Turp. I'm glad to be here. Uh, we're, we're happy to have you. What, what do you expect is the difference between SEC hoops and Big Ten hoops? Um... You know, I, I still look at it as being very competitive. You know, that's just I, that's the main thing how I look at it. You know, I know it's a, they have some really premier bigs in this league, you know, that I'm really looking forward to going up against every single day, every single game. So um, I feel like that's probably just the main thing, you know. I really don't compare them that much, but besides, you know, it being very competitive. Yeah. Well, I know, but, you know, it's a fan thing. You got to compare. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's what's it like playing at Rupp and then playing at Tennessee? Is it as crazy it looks on television? Yeah, it's, it's a crazy atmosphere. You know, very loud, very loud fans. You know, it's, to be honest, it's, um, it's exciting, though. It's, it's exciting playing in those arenas, you know, going against those type of teams. So I'm pretty sure that, like, if um, we weren't in the time that we was in now, it would be the same thing at, like, Michigan State and places like that. Oh, yeah. And one of the best places is the place you're sitting in, Xfinity Center. There's a reason it's a top five venue in the, in the country, probably in the world. You throw this over to Mason here. Oh, man. When you come to a new school during uh, the COVID era, what, what was the difference between this time coming to Maryland as opposed to coming to Alabama when it was more uh, normal in the world? Um, probably just getting adapted and, you know, getting comfortable with, like, you know, the, with everybody and just the new atmosphere, new environment, um, the new time that we're in, you know, it's a, it's a transition for everybody, honestly. So I feel like just transitioning to being somewhere new and, you know, not being able to be around the team as much just because of, you know, all the different protocols and rules that we've been going through in this time. So that's really just the biggest obstacle. And then talking to some of your teammates, especially the ones that were new to campus, uh, they were talking about how much the team has helped them, you know, create a family environment and when it's tough to meet new people. Has that been the same for you? And can you kind of talk about uh, what sticks out about this Maryland basketball family? Just the fact that, you know, my very first day here when I was able to interact with everybody, they woke with me and, you know, they let me know that they're excited for me to be here. They just made it feel like a family instantly. And for me, I feel like that was – a huge thing just because, you know, coming somewhere new, you know, you want to really feel like you're welcome and you want it. So, you know, that way when we're playing, we can be able to mesh and, you know, do well on the court also. What number did you pick for, for this season? Say that one more time. What number did you pick? Oh, 30. Is there a reason for that? Oh, it was my mom's high school number, so I just wanted to wear it as well for her. That's a good reason. That's Well, welcome – to the Big Ten, uh, we're, we're happy to have you and uh, look forward to, to hopefully this virus will clear up and we actually can get out there and meet you in person. 